So the airplane won't stop us. Let's continue. Okay, so what are we doing today? So today we're going to be uh, testing my um, Himi. Himi, Haimi, Himi gouache that I got, okay? And so quite some time ago, because I is busy uh, moving on. So I made this one a long time ago. So I, I, I drew her and I feel like maybe we can warm up and paint her. We're going to be using arches. So I'm going to be uh, testing and just making some swatches um, with Himi. I hope it's the right way I'm saying it. And you tell me if it's a form of procrastination or if it's a research. But I want to try it. This mug I made at the class, at the clay class, as well as this plate. The plate is not sanded, it's probably, you know, terrible, but I made this and I'm just so happy. So I'm working on the one that I showed you, but you guys can go on Pinterest and find a million portraits that are digital or just illustrations that are digital. Like so easy, right? So we have black, we have like this um, muted red, then these colors are the same. This is a little darker tone. This is a different tone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. It is going to look very, um, very cool. Yeah, I should have done that, I guess. But we are sticking to this girl. This was quite an, a messy process to open them. I'm not going to lie. But they look very, very cute. They look very modern. It feels like almost... Um, like some Pantone palette from Illustrator or something. They look very um, graphic -y, designy, very digital. I'm a little bit scared, but we're gonna start with warm up, which is just doing some swatches, and we're gonna be testing their brushes, uh, which you know we shall see number six, number four, and number eight. look like I'm a reporter <laughs> so the initial thoughts are they're okay so I like them I like the certain colors it looks like I don't have to uh, like really think about skin tones there are a lot of skin tones here uh, or they could be easily mixed I really like that I like that um, the colors are very modern as I mentioned so yeah I'm just now intimidated to start actually working on the piece so yeah these are pretty cool I like them I um, love the packaging um, not how they package the lids because it was extremely messy to open but I love 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 the way this box just looks and it's just so inspirational I have no idea how to care for them in the way that how to make sure they don't dry. I'm probably going to be covering them with plastic film or something like that. I don't know. I probably need to Google that. But besides that, it's um, it's cute. They're cute. So let's try to paint that digital piece. Let's trace it over. Let's trace it onto a paper and let's paint it. We're going to figure out the limited palette because I feel like things look more branded whenever there's like limited palette that you can use. And in that and in that drawing, in that painting, in that digital painting, the pa palette is definitely limited. So um, we're just gonna figure out the colors as we go.
sketch is traced, it's not perfect. We're we gonna perfect it to make sure that everything is proportionally sound here. Basically, we're going for this girl and um, I'm not sure about the background. Maybe we'll make it pink because there is this beautiful shade of pink here in uh, in Himi's um, gouache. So maybe it will, it will do. I'm gonna make myself espresso because I feel like I deserve it or need it or both. And then we're gonna continue working with this guy, girl. I'm reporting to you that I am making a decision. I have three choices. One choice is to leave it as is and be happy and move on and do editing or some other work. Choice number two is to copy the digital, which is in the back of me, but the background is pink. If you guys remember, I'll list it here. The background is pink. The third choice is gold leafing it. I can add gold leaf all over her, well, around her. I think it's gonna look really cool. I don't think I've done anything like that. I think I really wanna do it, but it requires me to wait because if I'm gonna add gold leaf right now, it's gonna stick to all the parts that are not completely, not 100% dry. So it means I have to move on with something else. And it's difficult for me because I don't have any patience and I'll be thinking about it all the time. But let me think. Okay, I made a decision to gold leaf it. Okay, so I'm putting this aside and I'll see you when I'm gold leafing. There's a part right here where the purse is. I will be detailing later because there are two straps and two tiny little um, slots of uh, white paper that I have to fill in with gold, but I can't get to it just now. I will focus on it tomorrow. Okay, so my initial thoughts, mm, no, I don't like it because um, there is stuff that is um, didn't, didn't adhere, but that's okay. This is going to be the second pass that we're going to do and we're going to fill in all the missing parts here. Let's see if you can see better. All the missing parts in here, you can see that there is a bit here, there is a bit here, right here at the top for some reason it didn't get attached I guess because I was using um, I was covering a lot of like a big surface and then I it would, would dry by the time I would adhere gold because I think I forgot that on paper it soaks in faster than on wood and wood you have a little bit of leeway you have a little bit of um, like time for Mod Posh to get tacky and then you would attach this um, gold leaf with some time but in, in um, you would have some time but not with paper it's too absorbent 
I like the way it's going, but let's polish it. Let's, it's like so bright. Let's um, fill in all the details here. Like for some reason I got out of the outside of the border right here. So we're gonna fix it right now. So I'm going to, because I really want her, um, uh, her rope to pop and act as negative space. So let's let's see. I mean, it it looks cool. It's it looks cool. I'm not gonna lie, but we just want to perfect it. See how reflective this is the final before so let's remove this it has been a couple of hours so it is dry now i hope so we're going to take off the gold leaf and hopefully this time everything will be covered are you guys ready This stuff is all over my room, so it doesn't matter. Look at that. Mm, that's so cute. I'm so happy the way it turned out. Uh, there are still spots that um, you can see the gold leaf. I mean, there are still spots that you can see the paper through, but it's kind of giving it its rustic feel. And as long as there's a clean outline, uh, you know, of a girl, you can see the girl cle clearly. I'm okay with that. I personally love the way it turned out. I hope you guys will do something similar, will make something similar. And I think it's a perfect uh, gift and very unique gift for a friend. Uh, for instance, if um, you take a picture of your friend and then you vectorize it and then you paint it with gouache like I did and then you use a little bit of gold leaf to zhuzh it up and you give it to someone as a gift, I think they would love it. This is just so cool. And don't be, don't be intimidated if you don't know how to use Adobe Illustrator or if you don't have an iPad or uh, like if you don't really feel like going through steps and painting like a girl or something, you can do a little cactus, a very simple cactus or just geometric form and use the same technique. So yeah, I hope you really liked it. I definitely like Himi gouache. I'll be using them in future and I'm covered in um, gold leaves. I have to go and clean up. So I'll see you in my next video. Subscribe and I hope you liked the video and I hope you're inspired to get some stuff done to create. So go and do something creative. Bye. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.